Hi, my name is Sharantha Bedegay. I'm a baritone saxophonist and composer from Toronto, Canada. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about my new album called Momentum. This is my third album of original compositions as a leader. And for this record, I wanted to try to explore some new territory and take some inspiration from outside of music. I wanted to try and reach into my childhood fascination with the physical sciences, physics and astronomy. and try and understand those concepts and realize them in a musical context. This album is about oppositional forces, things like friction and drag, momentum, inertia, centrifugal force, and gravity. These kinds of relationships that really don't have anything to do with music inspired me to try to create some musical ideas that were very new. I wanted to explore some new intervallic configurations, some new ideas about consonance and dissonance that I hadn't explored before, and different kinds of orchestrational possibilities using the studio as instrument and some more overdubbing types of techniques that I haven't done on previous albums. I feel very, very fortunate to be able to share the stage in the studio with some excellent musicians from Canada and the US, and this record was no exception. Joining me for the ensemble on this record are my longtime colleague Dave Restivo on piano and Fender Rhodes, my colleagues Mike Downs and Mark Kelso on bass and drums, respectively, two musicians that I've shared the stage with and also work with at Humber College in Toronto, as well as the great electric bass player Rich Brown, a colleague of mine from Toronto who will be no stranger to Canadian jazz audiences, but this is actually the first time that we had worked together in any kind of ensemble setting, so it was a real thrill to share the studio with him. Joining us, of course, for our final member of the ensemble is the great Will Kennedy, a special guest for this recording from the Yellow Jackets, a band that has been a big inspiration for me since childhood. I kind of grew up listening to this band. It was one of my favorite bands as a, a high school student. And the opportunity to get a chance to work with Will in this setting was absolutely a thrill. I'm playing a mix of woodwind instruments, baritone saxophone, bass clarinet, flute clarinet, alto saxophone, as well as a little bit of piano and Fender Rhodes. Though I'm a baritone saxophonist primarily, I really wanted to explore these other colors on the album to try and vary the instrumentation quite a bit. The compositions on this album come from a wide variety of sources. I'm a huge fan of John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, Bill Evans, Thelonious Monk, and those influences are definitely in these compositions as well. But there are a lot of other influences that are on this album that I haven't included in previous recordings. I'm a big fan of film music, particularly the music of Bernard Herrmann, who scored countless Hollywood films, including Taxi Driver. And there is a tune on this album, the title track from this record, Momentum, is a dedication to him. And hopefully you'll hear some of the cinematic influences as well. There are also some more kind of cowboy swing influences in a tune that I wrote when I was in Ireland called The Long Goodbye. R&B, Oakland soul, Afro-Cuban music. It's a pretty wide variety of compositions, and hopefully there's something in there for everyone. The process of coming up with these compositions was quite a bit different for me than it has been in previous albums. I wrote a lot of these pieces when I was traveling or in some sort of motion state, some place where I didn't have access to an instrument, a piano or a saxophone, for instance. This was a bit of a challenge for me because it forced me to kind of think outside of my normal defaults as a composer and really try to come up with something that was different. Though those compositions ended up as sketches, in the hands of these musicians that you'll hear on the recording, they turned out to be more than I could have ever imagined them to be. Hopefully you'll hear the freshness of the sound that comes from the studio performances, because a lot of these tunes were never performed before actually being recorded for this album. I think there's a great mix of musical elements of play on this album. Whether you're a fan of mainstream jazz, contemporary, traditional, modern, simple or complex, I think this album is going to have something that you'll like, and I sincerely hope that you enjoy listening.